everyone, Achika here, and it's the weekend, so that means it's time for another DCUO base showcase here on the channel, and today I got another very special one lined up for you guys. So I'm going to preface this base tour actually by shouting out the Base Crafters Discord. If you guys did not know, uh, Zoe, Rill, and myself from our Base Crafters episodes, we started a Discord specifically for people who build bases here on DCUO, and it's a fantastic community. We have just a hangout area where you just talk shop, uh, a bunch of showing off our bases stuff, like works in progress, getting feedback on those from other creators and getting ideas and stuff like that. And there's also base item trading, uh, so if you're looking for something specific, or there's an LFG for organizing raid groups too, to farm for furniture, which is also really cool. And honestly, it's one of the best communities I've ever been a part of. Everybody there is so helpful and creative and just friendly and it's awesome. So if you guys are base decorators and you want to get in on that, I always have a link in my description and also you can find it on my YouTube channel too. Uh, just a little Discord icon on the, the main page or whatever. But anyway, the reason I want to preface this is because this base was actually a request. I have a thread over there, so if you ever want to get a base story, you can always leave me a comment in, you know, any YouTube video, or you can message me on the game. But I have a thread over there on Discord, too, and this is one of the first people, actually, to sign up for it. So, without further ado, why don't we go check out Olive Garden, which is an amazing name. <laughs> and their base entitled Garden Retreat. <laughs> I love that. That's so good. <laughs> I almost said, like, Olive Garden as the name of the base because maybe it was like an Olive Garden, but I don't think that's the case. <laughs> See, there it is. Olive Garden Garden Retreat. Yeah, I have quite a few actually of you guys who messaged me on the Discord to go check out your bases. This one I chose first because it was supposed to be featured in Base Crafters with me, Zoe, and Rill, but um, ooh. Uh... We're on hiatus right now, uh, just for time zone differences and filming and all that good stuff. So hopefully we'll get back to it. Oh, this is great. So we have a vernal entrance here. Look at all the flowers and cherry blossoms. <laughs> this is so serene and nice. Man, I love a good like open base like this. It's just vernal, it's just nice. I need to create one of these just for me so that I can... I don't know. I always go, like, way too maximal with my bases. Oh, the bunny rabbits. Yes! <laughs> and the mushrooms can have some Alice in Wonderland vibes. I love that. <laughs> I always go, like, too maximal and clutter my bases, though, so they're never just open and breathe like this. Like, this is just nice. Got a tree stump chair here. Oh man, you guys can have some tea and enjoy the landscape. Ooh, it's so nice. Nice and cozy vernal area. I love it. Alright, so let's go through the hallway here. Ooh, more greenery. Look at this. This is great. <gasps> and one of my favorite friends. Hello. My Whirl of the Wisps. Will of the Wisp. Whatever you call yourselves. My forest spirit friends. Oh man, I really hope in the future we get some more like different colored. Do you know how cool it would be to have a fire one? Like a, an orange or red one. Oh man. A pink one to go with the cherry blossoms would be very cool. They give you their little blessing of sparkles. Hopefully I'll get one from them later. I'm not going... You know what? I'm not going to... Not gonna say that I'm gonna get one, but I'm hoping I will. Maybe. <laughs> oh, this is very nice. Woo! So we have like a, a botany lab going on here. And with the crystals, the green crystals. Ooh. This actually reminds me a lot of Adana's The Grove, which was one of my first showcases, actually. Has like a it's just nice open vernal, very breathable, and it also had some botany stuff in there. This one seems a little less malicious so far than the grove, though. The grove had a bit of a malevolence to it once you got to the bottom area. <laughs> this seems very storybook and vernal and peaceful. <laughs> Fireflies in here and the waterfall. Oh, so 
great. So this is the bedroom area. It's like a, it's almost like a fairy, just, just Wonderland. It's awesome. And the ancient theme is perfect for this too, because the walls just go well with all the, the branches and and vernal things. As do the pillars. I really like the coloring too, especially with the green lattice. Or trim, I guess I should say. Since it's stone. Probably shouldn't say lattice when it's stone. <laughs> and I really like the design up there with the ivy. I didn't even notice that. Oh, that's really cool. The fluorescent lights and stuff. Oh, that's, that's a really nice effect. Well, hello. <laughs> I know it's fantastic. You must feel like super special. Oh, <gasps> I got the blessing. Yes, my day's complete. Tour over. I'm done. I got my blessing. <laughs> Whenever the forest spirit smiles upon you, it's a good day. <laughs> All right, let's head downstairs. We have ooh, another nice waterfall with the pond. Ah, oh, this is great. More vernal stuff. Poison Ivy would absolutely love this. <laughs> She'd be over the moon. I think Swamp Thing would too. All the keepers of the green would. Sitting area by a reflecting pool. And some more waterfalls. Very nice. Ooh! Oh my gosh! Yes! We have a Celtic, like, gateway stone. Oh, that's so neat. <gasps> I love it. <sighs> I love these stones so much. I don't use these enough. I want to make a Stonehenge kind of base with them because they're just, they're so cool. I kind of did, like, a mini one with Illyria's base, but I love this. It's like you commune with the stone. You teleport off to faraway worlds. Oh, man, that's so cool. I love it. And yeah, the portal's here. And there's another portal here. Yes! That's awesome! Gateway stone. Yeah, that's great. And the Gemini eyes. Like, all mystical. Oh, I didn't even notice. So when you enter, too, there's, like, stones, like, uh, as an archway. Like a gateway, almost. Like, enter, like so you enter. That's really nice. So mystical doorways to other worlds here. At the end of Garden Retreat. Because I think that is the end. Oh, so nice. What a nice vernal base. Thank you so much, Olive Garden, for Garden Retreat inviting me over. Again, sorry it took so long to, to get to this. Like I said, they had uh, registered for base crafters. Like the uh, the three-peat episode that Rill and Zoe and myself like do. But like I said, we're on hiatus right now. So I thought I would just give them a personalized tour. Uh, and again, they signed up in the Discord. So I'm sure it was okay. <laughs> <laughs> hope I, I could deliver just a little, like, a fraction of the base crafter experience. And thank you guys so much for watching! Um, yeah, base off is still going on. I think you guys have two weeks when this is coming out to get your entries in. Um, yeah, and honestly, that's about it, guys. So, like I said, uh, if you guys ha have Discord, or you, you do Discord, I guess I should say. It took me a while to get on there. I'm, I'm kind of a Discord noob myself. <laughs> But luckily I have other people to, to help me or show me the way of it. But yeah, if you guys want uh, links in the description below, if you just want to get in on, we're, we're very quiet. Like we don't usually over talk too much over there, but, um, you know, the resources are there for base item trading and just getting feedback if you guys, you know, want, want any of that. So go check it out. <laughs> but yeah, without further ado, you guys, I don't know. You guys have a great day and I will catch you in the next one. <laughs> Take care, everybody.